In this video, you will learn the basics of creating user interfaces using Google Apps Script. Let's quickly go through some basics of using UI services. UI services in the Apps Script consist of two main types of UI objects. First, there are panels. Some examples of panels would be form panel, which is a panel that wraps its contents in HTML tags, vertical panel, which flows the panel's contents in a vertical layout, horizontal panel, which flows the panel's contents in a horizontal layout. These are only a few examples of the many choices that Google offers. Further detailed documentation on Google Scripts programming for panels can be found here. Additionally, there are widgets. Some examples of widgets would be text box, buttons, label, text area, radio buttons, and check boxes. Of course, these are only a few of the examples as well, and there are many choices that Google offers. Further detailed documentation on Google Scripts programming for widgets can be found here. Both of these Google Scripts documentation links can be found in the description below. There are five main steps in terms of creating your application within Google Scripts. First, you want to create the application. Secondly, you want to create the panel. In this example, we're using a vertical panel. Thirdly, you want to create the widgets themselves. In this example, we're using a text box and a button. Fourth, you want to add the text box and the button to the panel that was created in step two. And finally, you want to add the panel to the application itself that was created in step one. Now, let's create a new user interface using what we just learned. In Google Drive, create a new spreadsheet in this spreadsheet, click on Tools, and then click on Script Editor. Choose Blank Project. Here I will rename the function. In this case, I will call it Build UI. The first step of creating the user interface is to create the application, and here we'll give it a name. Next, we will create a vertical panel. Next, we will create a text box and give the text box a name. Next, we will create a submit button and put a label on the submit button itself. Then, we will add the text box and the button to the panel. We will then add the panel to the application And finally, we will get the active spreadsheet and have it call the actual application itself. Save the project, give it a name, click here to run your project, it will ask you for authorization, click continue. A box like this will come up. You will choose Accept. If I switch over to my spreadsheet here, I will see that the UI interface is now up. However, if I type anything in and click the button, nothing actually happens. We'll need to write a function that Apps Script will execute when the user clicks the Submit button. We'll name this function Submit Button. Close the application. Go back to your script editor. And here we will add the submit button function. This function executes in the context of an existing application. Let's get that application. Next, let's get the text box value based upon the user input. Notice that the function takes an input parameter e. App Script automatically generates this object and passes it to the function. Using object e, we can get the value of the user submitted input in the text box by using its name. The name was set above here. We need to get the active spreadsheet to store the current variable. Then we need to write the value to the spreadsheet itself. Upon completion, we want to close the application and complete our function. Next, we need the application itself to realize when the user clicks the submit button. For that, we will add a server handler. 
The instruction handler equals app dot create server handler submit button creates a server side click handler object called handler as part of the UI instance application called app. A click handler performs an action in response to a mouse click. Server side means that the actions are performed by a server, in this case, Google Apps script server. The argument submit button means the handler is to run the function submit button. The instruction button dot add click handler handler associates the click handler to the already defined button object called button. The instruction handler dot add callback element panel adds a widget to this server handler as a callback element. When a server handler is called, any widgets added here, as well as any current child widgets of those widgets, are considered as callback elements. The value of each of these widgets is added to the information sent to the script processed in the event. Run the application. Switch back to the spreadsheet. Type in the word testing. Click right to sheet and it works. Let's run it one more time. Back to your script, click run, back to the sheet. Let's try it again.